Welcome everyone to Life Happened, the place where people send in their very personal life stories for us to share with you. You can make a huge difference in their lives by sharing your feelings and advice for them in the comments below. My name is Kim, your host, and this story is from Deidre. Dear Kim, motherhood might be beautiful, sweet, and adorable, and every mother is filled with love after holding their child. We overcome problems every day because we will do anything for our children. Nothing is impossible. We drink our sleepless nights away with energetic coffee and with a smile on our faces. We overcome each day because we are so happy. But I realize so many women are out there and I cannot fool reality. Even if we want to fool ourselves a lot, mothers can still get very frustrated. I almost forgot what it was like to live a moment for myself. I had already learned to deal with the brutal reality when one of my long unseen girlfriends brought up this topic, and I need to share my pain and that of other mothers out there. Note, we are happy to hear your story and without any judgment. My friend told me about her family in which she has two children, a one-year-old daughter and a three-year-old daughter. She told me that they both want to be loved at once. I love them, and at the same time, I dream about going out to the store or anywhere by myself. I dream about stopping everything on the run. I'm bloody tired and frustrated despite sleeping well. I don't have the strength for them, and I can't play with them. I don't do anything for myself. I don't have time. My daughter hangs at my feet all the time, and when she sleeps during the day, I run and make dinner before she gets up, because when she gets up, she only walks around me, especially since she's not walking alone yet. Deidre, do you have that too? I have even forgotten what a bath is. The neighborhood gossipers whose conversations I accidentally overheard about how before pregnancy I was well groomed, full of energy, always elegantly dressed and painted, and I'm now tired, constantly with bags under my eyes, in a pulled out tracksuit and without any makeup. Note, nosy numbers are not worth your time or energy. My friend was broken, and I couldn't hold back my tears while listening to her, because in one second, memories came back. The memories of what I am facing, but I can't speak about out loud. It was the same, as if someone had rewritten our lives. Permanent fatigue, constant pressure that things need to be cleaned, washed, and cooked. The child is clean, fed, entertained, and taken for a walk. My whole life has revolved around having a child. I had one child, so theoretically, it was easier for me. Practically the same scenario, everything, but absolutely everything revolved around the child. There was no chance for five minutes alone, and at times I felt not like a mother, but like an automatic robot, necessary for a child to survive and satisfy its basic needs. There was not enough space for my needs. Note, there is always a way to find time for yourself, even if that means getting creative about it. Quite recently, another friend mentioned that she is fed up with the parenting, complaining about motherhood. She is always around the baby. There is no moment of rest during the day and at night. The only moment that seems like a resting hour is when the kids have exhausted their batteries and we have put them to bed. Sometimes falling asleep looks no better than the rest of the day. Sometimes they watch cartoons and they don't need our attention. Sometimes their mouths are full of food and they are unable to utter a word. Sometimes when they're having some fun, it will take them longer than five minutes. I love the young ones more than life, and I can appreciate the sweet side of power, but I can't help but speak aloud that motherhood is challenging and tiring. Note, yes, motherhood can be challenging, but with proper care of ourselves, it can be so rewarding. I can't pretend to have a perfect life every day, that there are no problems, no depression, and no more or fewer pits in motherhood. I see my girlfriends in their perfect homes in the pictures. I look around the room and wonder when the tornado passed through my house. After all, 10 minutes earlier, I had time to sit down after a two-hour cleaning marathon. As I used to, I can't reject the reality that everything is so beautiful and nice because I would be deceiving myself and you. As a mother, I do not need another depressing picture that distorts reality. A few minutes after putting everything in place, my baby is around to disorganize everything to make it look like I never arranged the house. Note, there is no such thing as perfection in life. This reminds me of the books we mentioned in the description box below for your reference relating to this story. And now would be a good time to hit the like button. How much can you hear about the fact that a child is so polite, wonderful, eats everything, put under its nose, and is not picky about anything? When your child cries every day because she won't eat, it's not good. She does not whine while dressing, and it is as if she was not there. She sits like poop in the grass, and she does not want 
anything. Seriously? This is what it looks like? Soon, we'll those say that it is a matter of organization, others have it worse. Or are these mothers have been turned from prosperity to nothing? Because sitting with children at home is no effort. Only, somehow I haven't met any woman who does not work professionally. She has not run away to work from full-time motherhood. Who spends all days at home without a herd of babysitters? No help from her grandmother, who goes through clothes every day and isn't crazy. Note, you definitely need help when raising a child. I'm not exaggerating now. I'm just stating the fact because the baby can't sit in diapers for a few hours and not suffer. It's super challenging and I don't have time to attend to friends as I used to in the past. I am always busy taking care of my baby and the home. I try to encourage myself that I am made for this but I can't just help it. So I'll have to say it aloud that it's challenging and just not easy. Note, no, it's not easy but it is a blessing to be a mother. I might have to cry in a pillow when this time goes by but I I feel like my batteries are exhausted. I think I don't have enough power in my battery to go on. Every mother like me is afraid to admit to anyone that this is indeed challenging. An exhausted mother is a taboo subject. A complaining mother is automatically a bad mother. After all, a woman who cannot cope is inept, disorganized, and ungrateful to the world for giving her a wonderful gift of life because only weak people complain. After all, it is a shame and admitting defeat. And being a hero is fashionable for everyone woman, but I wish there was a remedy on how to manage a child without being exhausted. Deidre, thank you for writing to us. I will now give my thoughts and opinions as to Deidre's story. I think you are a totally exhausted mother. This is quite normal for the parents to feel when the children are younger. We feel we never have enough time for ourselves, and in a way, it's true. Children need us in every situation when they are being good and cute, or when they have pooped their diapers and are screaming at the top of their lungs. So, having children is an enormous responsibility, and it should not be taken less than serious. We feel we must give up who we are as individuals and concentrate solely on the children. This, in part, is also very true. We must be prepared to give of ourselves a sacrifice in nature to our children and yes, that means being sleep deprived in ways we may not have realized. Also, the early years for a child are critical for maintaining his or her mental and physical health for its long-term growth, development, and advancement in life. We must nurture and love our children more than what we think we are capable of. And the good news is the children do grow up and become less and less dependent on us over the years. All this being said, because motherhood can at times be draining for you, it is imperative that you also take good care of yourself. It's so important for you to get good sleep, take rests, go on some shopping sprees, spend time with your friends, take up a craft, go to a movie, get a massage, etc. There are many things you can do for yourself to be a more relaxed mother. If you don't care for yourself, who will? You could ask the father, some friends to watch your child for you, or how about granny? Or perhaps you could contact one of the babysitting websites. Remember that your child needs your commitment, devotion, and yes, time, because they rely on us for their well-being, safety, and healthy development. And it's a lifelong story. It's never going to end, even though one day our children grow up to become adults and have children of their own. Please try to embrace each and every step of your child's life, and remember that this too shall pass. But until it does, in Enjoy your motherhood, and it never hurts to seek the advice of a therapist or a counselor regarding your issues. Take care of yourself, and we wish you the best. Today's quotes are, Successful mothers are not the ones who have never struggled. They are the ones who never give up, despite the struggles, by Sharon Janes. And, Life is tough, my darling, but so are you, by Stephanie Bennett Henry. How did you like Deidre's story? You can now scroll down to the comment section and leave your opinion, remark, question, or answer to Deidre's story. We would like to hear from you. You may have just the right solution to Deidre's situation today. And remember that by liking and subscribing to Life Happened, you will hear me read letters every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which people send us, detailing their issues in their everyday lives. These are real life personal stories and people want to be heard. Also, don't forget, if you have a personal story or issue you, which you would like to share with us, please send us an email using the email provided in the description box below. It would be great to hear from you. We thank you again for joining us here today where life happened. See you next time and have a wonderful day.